The Nedarot are one of the three races responsible for creation, cloning and growing on Earth. The other are the Elul, Namos, but here we will deal with the Anunnaki, also known as the Anuna. We Anunnaki, meaning, those who Anu, sent down to Chi, or Gi, which became Geo, in Na 50s, are one of your supreme creators, those who grew you. It is from us that you came. We grew nine ether beings. We are known by many titles, in many languages, such as, Alam, Malaikat, Angelos, Kachina, Netarat, Omarwe, Thunderbirds, Jinwen, or Shushuki, and there are many others. We have germinated this planet from what you call Mars, seeding the planet at four points as four beings, one, Netar, two, Anuna, three, Elul, four, Namos, the four winds. Our existence goes way back to 76 trillion years ago of your time, if you must try to calculate. We live in and beyond time zone. You cannot comprehend these things as of yet. Our creation, never existing as you think of it, we exist as a crystal essence, birthing light and form from beyond light and form, which was created by the Supreme Being Anu, the Most High, who was appointed by Pa Kulum Nial. The Greek name for the sun is Helios, the city in Egypt, the Greeks called it Heliopolis which was really called Anu or Lunu, even Lunet Mayet or An. In your Bible his city there was called Kalna or Kalno Fortress of Anu, Genesis 10.10. Heliopolis was the city of Re or Ra, ROI, in his form as Adam, one of the four great cities. The others being Nua Moon Thebes, Het Kafata Memphis and Kamenu Hermopolis. So the which becomes talisman of the Sumerian was none other than another name for Ra, or Re, the deity of the sun cycle or solar. Heliopolis is also part Hempolis of Tehutithoth also called Hermes. Re is the symbol of rebirth and regeneration. This sun was also called Kephra or Kepri the Scarab Beetle, at dawn, Atun Re at noon and Amun Re at sunset. And this Re came across the skies in his solar bark manjet in Egypt and Nibiru in Samaria. It was called the boat of a million years. This was the great craft that came from beyond the stars, sometimes it's called the great gold egg. Ra became the most high, Al-Ali or Al or Illa, who is known as simply Allah, Rab and Yahweh, or Hashem and Anu, all of these names called by religious people, however he is one and the same and became Anu, the Heavenly One, Ra, became El Elo. This crystal essence became divided into two parts, one was extremely pure and luminous however, the other appeared to the vision of the intellect to be inferior to the first, the first was called light, the pure green light, the light of the Anunnaki, Seraphim, those agreeable beings, a symbol of manifestation of things, and the second was called fire, the impure amber light, the light of the Anunnaki, Cherubim, those disagreeable beings, a symbol of destruction of things, Yet, the pure holy darkness preceded both. The bliss and the tranquility.